Hi everyone, this is Amy, and I just got my latest butcher box order. So this is a huge box. I think this was actually bigger than the other boxes that I've gotten from butcher box. And I love what the box says, better meat for a better you. And I totally believe that because you are what you eat and you are whatever you're eating has eaten. So it's so important that you're eating good, nutrient dense, healthy, organic food that has been fed a, a good diet without pesticides and been treated humanely. So I love this box, humanely raised, no antibiotics or added hormones ever. And if you're interested in trying the butcher box, I have a link in the description down below where you can save at least $15. They had it up to $30 for a little while. I, I don't know how long that's gonna last. So it's possible that by the time I post this or you see it, that it might only be $15, but $15 is still a good savings. And you should check that out in the description down below if you're interested. But let's get this box open and I wanna show you guys what's inside. Hoping it all came in good condition and that everything I ordered is in here. So let's get it open. Just Cook, make mealtime a sizzle with kitchen tips, delicious recipes, and more. Check it out at Butcher Box, Just Cook, and Butcher Box Watch. And I did pay for everything in here. This is not a sponsored video. So you're seeing real stuff here, guys. So right on top is this high quality meat you can trust and it explains that there's dry ice inside and not to use your bare hands, which I think most of us know. Okay, it is all kind of just tossed in here, but it looks like it's arrived frozen, so that's good. Let me get my computer so we can check that everything I ordered is actually in here instead of having to go through this later. Okay, so my main box was custom classic. And that's $149, and that is in here. But I also ordered some additional things. And one of those additional things is a chicken breast bundle. And this was nine one pound packs of chicken for $54. It's organic, skinless, boneless chicken breast, and nine pounds of it. So I feel like for that quality that this is a pretty good deal. I have not tried their chicken breast before, so I'm hoping I like it. And it's not like it is with the with the steak and the burgers where I don't really care for the flavor of Butcher Box steak and burgers, but I thought we would give it a try because it was a pretty good deal. Each of these has one to two chicken breasts in them. They're each one pound and it arrived frozen so I can put them right into the freezer. And here is the rest of the chicken, another package. This looks, this all looks in good condition. Remember, leave me comments about what you think of this stuff right below. I love to get comments. I love to hear what you think and what your opinions are, what your experiences have been with these companies. So please feel free, leave me comments down below. And also, if you disagree, if I think I got a deal and you don't think I got a deal, leave that in the comments too. Okay, so next we have pork chops. We absolutely love Butcher Box's pork chops, which is funny because we don't really like their beef. To us, the beef takes, tastes gamey. So we don't order beef from the Butcher Box. I, I have a video that I just tried First Light from Thrive Market. They have Wagyu beef from First Light at Thrive Market. So I just ordered that. And we really love Seven Sons for beef. So I have links to those in the description down below. You can also view my playlist of all my, my unboxings and hauls or the individual playlist just for those. And I'll leave links to that in the description down below too. But we love their pork chops. They're really thick. They're boneless, they're lean, and I don't even normally like pork, but I like these pork chops. So 
This is what we get in our custom classic box. We get 16 bon boneless pork chops in our custom classic box. And here's some more. This is all sustainable with humane practices. So I feel okay getting this from them. More pork chops. And even more pork chops. So ground beef. When I signed up for the butcher box, I got ground beef in every order for the life of my membership. They usually run some kind of promotion all the time so that there's always something you can get, either a bigger discount or something else. So their ground beef is, is fine. I haven't had any problems with it. Now I haven't made like burgers with it or anything like that. So I'm okay with their ground beef if I make uh, meatballs or meatloaf or something like that with it. I don't have a problem with it. I haven't tried it for burgers, but if you have, let me know. Do you think it tastes gamey? Like, at least the way I think the other stuff tastes. Let me know. And then they are sending me these even though I told them I didn't like them. They keep wanting me to try the burgers. I'm not paying for them because I don't care for them. But Colin doesn't seem to mind them, so he he eats them no problem. I really don't like these. I just don't care for the flavor. To me, it tastes gamey. But if you've had a different experience, let me know. This is all grass-fed beef. All the beef from ButcherBox is grass-fed. And depending upon what the beef is fed in terms of the kind of grass, they can have a gamey flavor. So I prefer beef that doesn't have a gamey taste. And that's what I can get from Seven Sons. And their beef is all grass fed too. And it doesn't have that flavor that I don't care for. So that's where I've been getting our beef from. And then I did also try uh, Thrive Market for the First Life Wagyu cattle. And I had no problem with that either. It didn't taste gamey to me. So not all beef has to taste gamey if it's grass fed. So if you have an experience where you tried get grass fed beef and you didn't care for it because it tasted gamey and you were afraid to try, go back and try it again, maybe just try a different source for that beef. That's what I would say. So for me, I try not to eat beef, well, burgers or steaks from the butcher box, but that's just my taste. I, there's plenty of people out there who love it. And if you do, then good for you. Keep eating it. And then we have some ground pork and I use this for meatballs and meatloaf and things like that. So I paid um, $8.50 for each of these. And it, that's humanely raised, certified humane, certified whole 30 pork. I got some lobster because I like lobster every now and then. And around here, uh, it's this is about the same price I would pay locally. And I don't really go to grocery stores right now, as most of you that have watched my videos before know. And if you're watching and you're not a subscriber, go ahead right now and hit that subscribe button. And if you're, excuse me, girls, could you play nicely while mommy's recording her unboxing? Cece, why don't you come over here, sweetheart? Come on, Cece, come on. She's just looking at the camera. Are you acting up because you're being filmed? Anyway, if you're if you're new here and you're not a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and tapping the bell icon right next to it because I do lots of unboxings and some other content too and you really don't want to miss any of those videos. And then we have some sweet Italian pork sausage. And this is about the same price as I would spend locally. And again, I'm not really going to grocery stores right now. So it's easier to buy it from here. And I haven't tried their Italian sausage yet. So I'm, I'm interested to try that and see how it is. And we got a boneless center cut pork chuck roast. And this was a member deal. It's, this is 
two and a half pounds. They said it was going to be three plus pounds. So it's a little short of what they promised. And I paid $16 for it. That's a pretty good price regardless, but at three plus pounds, that would have been a deal. I am disappointed that this is half pound short of what they promised it would be. So butcher box, if you're watching, you shorted me half a pound. Oh, then we have some ground turkey and this one looks like it got sliced. So these are supposed to be connected and this looks like it maybe was caught in a razor blade and I didn't use a razor blade to cut this open and this wasn't at the top of the box. So it must have been before I got it. So I'll, I'll send them an email and tell them about that. This was, this is four pounds for $25 of ground turkey. And had that not been slashed open, I would say it's, it's a pretty good deal. This is the rest of it here. And this is not slashed open. So here's the rest of it. This is again, all vegetable diet, all natural, no antibiotics, ground turkey. And I like to keep this cause I, in the house, in the freezer, cause I like to make chili with ground turkey. And then we have some pork breakfast sausage. These are each one pound of pork breakfast. Wow, that's hard to say. Pork breakfast sausage. And this, that, that's part of a breakfast bundle where I got two packs of sausage and two packs of bacon for $24. That I think is a little on the pricier side, but it's better quality then other stuff and here's the bacon so i have two different kinds of bacon here so this is what we typically get from the butcher box and this is their applewood smoked uncured bacon and this i guess is part of that breakfast bundle that goes with the with the breakfast sausage and then I got one that is the original no sugar added hickory smoked uncured bacon from Peterson's Natural Farms. And this is vegetarian fed, no antibiotics, raised humanely, gluten free, lactose free, MSG free. And this is part of Bacon for Life. So I paid $25 and that's a one time charge. And then every time I place an order with the butcher box, I get bacon, just like I got the ground beef that automatically came. I had to pay extra, but for the life of my membership, I will always get a pack of bacon in my box. So I feel like that's a good deal. I mean, that will pay off in the long run. Maybe not right now, but in the long run, that'll pay off. And then we got some hot dogs and some apple Gouda uncured sausage. I figured this sounded interesting and I would give it a try. Just like everything else, these are, oh, so these are uncured hot dogs. They're made with heritage breed pork, 100% grass fed and finished beef. So it's a combination of beef and pork and no nitrates or nitrates added, sugar free. And the ingredients are pork, heritage breed pork, grass fed beef, water, sea salt, organic spices, organic paprika, organic garlic powder, organic onion powder, organic coriander and celery powder. And the celery powder is in place of nitrates or nitrites. That's what that ingredient is for. It helps preserve it. And then we have the apple Gouda uncured sausage. And this is pork, apple juice, Gouda cheese, salt and en enzymes, dehydrated apple, sea salt, water, spices, cultured celery powder, which is celery powder and sea salt. And it says contains milk and it's gluten-free. Obviously there's cheese, so it would contain milk. But I'm excited to try these and see how they are. And then we have what I really love. And these are their sea scallops. These are amazing to me because, and I, I lived in New England, Maine specifically, mid-coast Maine, for about eight or nine years before I moved back to New Jersey. And I've never seen any scallops that are marked like this. And I'm gonna show you. So right on the back, they have a QR code. 
And they tell you the name of the fishing vessel that caught it and the date that they caught it. And I think that's really amazing. These are wild caught on the Georgia's bank and the fishing vessel that caught this is the prowess. So if you fish off the prowess or you know somebody who does, thank you for catching my scallops. And I think that's really awesome. I've actually never seen that before. And the dry ice is all gone dissolved. So this is what we have. This is what we're working with here. It's a lot of stuff. It's filled up my sink and I want to know what you think about it. So I'm going to put my receipt up right here. And so the base box was $149 and then the add-ons and member deals were additional to that. The member deals are a pretty good deal too. So I really wonder what you guys think about this for what I paid. How do you feel? Is it worth the price? Is it not worth the price? What is your experience been with butcher box or have you used another company that you like that I should try? I mean, in particular, I'm really thrilled with their pork. I'm thrilled with their scallops. I'm interested to try the chicken and I, I really want to try this, this sausage. This sounds so good. What do you guys think of what I got here? Do you think I got a good value for what I paid, which is $341.50? I want to know. What do you think of that? What did, you know, what would you pay for this? What's worth it? Again, if, if you like this video, hit the like button and remember to subscribe and tap the bell icon so that you never miss one of my videos. I'm always posting unboxings and I want to know what you guys think and I want to help you find the best companies. So make sure that you subscribe and tap that bell. And if you think somebody else could use this video, feel free to share it with them. If you want to try the butcher box, there's a link in the description down below where you, you can get $15 or more off your order, depending upon what they're doing at that time. Thank you for watching. This is Amy. I will see you real soon. Bye.